I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with our Dollar Day haul. Yes. It's from two dollar days. Two separate dollar days. Here's our advice. Some people say we don't have a dollar day. You might. <laughs> we thought we didn't have a dollar day either, but then we did. So our favorite chain of thrift stores, and I know some Goodwills, Goodwills do this too, but our private chain of thrift stores that we love called Thrift Giant yes. in the DFW Metroplex area of Dallas, Texas. Uh, it has some 99 cent days. Once things have been on 50% off, it has colored tags. And once they've been on 50% off long enough, they will bam, hit you with a 99 cent day. Right, they do them twice a week on Mondays and on Wednesdays. Sometimes. Sometimes. So you gotta look at their Facebook. Right. Y'all, follow your thrift stores on Facebook and Instagram because sometimes they'll hit us with a 99 cent on a Friday. We're yeah. like, ah, yes. <laughs> so our advice, follow your favorite thrift stores, get to know the people that work there, and they will let you know because they can't hold on to this stuff forever. Right. And a lot of people say, okay, 99 cent day, nothing left. That's not true. That is not true. Not true at all, as we're about to show you because everything that we got hanging up right here behind us, we got... 99 cents a piece. We will give you some recommendations on whether we would pick these up. So, for example, some of the things we got, I probably wouldn't get if they weren't a dollar. There's, yeah, a lot of the things I probably would not have picked up unless they're a dollar. And some of the things I got that were a dollar, I wouldn't have picked up even for a dollar if I only sold on one platform like Poshmark. Ah. Some of this stuff ain't gonna sell on Poshmark, but it will sell on eBay. Or Mercari. Or... Maybe Mercari. Maybe. That's, Mercari's been hitting. It has. It's been hitting a lot this week. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to show you what we got for a dollar, two days, Monday and a Wednesday, and give you our commentary. Yeah. So what's up? This is first. This is a... What is this? I don't... This is new with tags. Love um, it. It is from a brand called Premium 51. It's uh, an Indianapolis-themed logo hoodie. It's That's lightweight. Nice. Like I said, it's new with tags. It's the only reason I got it. For thrift store, had it marked for twenty dollars. Um, Every time it's new with tags, they put it at twenty dollars. Yeah, you guys it, ha see that. Mm -hmm. So blue tag, a dollar. We'll take it for a dollar. We don't do many comping. If it's new with tags at the store and it's a dollar, we, take, just, we take the I chance. I usually just grab it. Yeah. So we'll let you know how this does. Maybe we'll do a little experiment and get back to you. Right. How our dollar stuff does. All right. Another new with tags item was this green Tommy Hill figure dress shirt. Again, the only reason I would ever get this is because it's new with tags. Um, because it's like a regular basic, basic dress yeah. shirt, and it's going to be tough to sell for more than 20 bucks. Yeah, but I like turning one into 20. Right? This will go on eBay, probably. Probably. Our new with tags dress shirt kind of stuff like this, eBay. Yeah. All the way. All right. We also picked up this casual button-down shirt. This is from... Peter Millar. What? Yep, great, great brand. Also 99 cents. Good. Blue plaid, um, basic casual button down shirt. But okay. also from a great brand. So that is a good brand. We 99 will flip cents. that. eBay. All right. What else did you get here? Did I get? Oh, I yeah, did get this. This is from Soft Surroundings. Soft Surroundings sells well for us on eBay. I do think there's a stain on it. Y'all tell me when, when I put it to the camera, is you there, can see it. Yeah, like. There? Right in this general oh, no. area. No, but I'm going to get it out. For a dollar, <laughs> I love um, testing stain treatments. And so for a dollar, it was worth the test. I also think that because... Actually, this is free. Yellow tag. They forgot to ring this one up. Less than a dollar. <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> even better. Uh, with the cool buttons, this is like an art-to-wear piece, lagoon look, soft surrounding sells for us, and those keywords work well. So yes. even with a flaw, I'll still sell it if I can't get it out. But I like a challenge. All right. Speaking of challenges, more men's dress shirts. Ugh, why? Didn't we said we just, last we said didn't last we video, just do a video on this? We were not gonna pick these up anymore. But then dollar day. But they're a dollar. And I'm pretty sure I said the ones I wasn't gonna pick up anymore were were the plain, like blue and white. Ugh, they're the because worst. they're extremely hard to photograph. Blue and Something white. Something like is this the worst. that's like brown and a solid color with some stripes. It's still, uh, it's not the easiest thing to get accurate pictures of, but it's easier than like a blue Oxford shirt. What's the brand? This is Michael Michael Kors. Oof. Um, 
it was a dollar. Okay. So, I mean, right. like I said, it's not the greatest brand, but people buy it. And yeah. It'll go for like, you know, 20, 25 bucks, somewhere in that area. Yeah, some people that know what they wear in this brand. Yeah. All right. We got a couple more shirts coming up. This is from Daniel Cremieux Signature Collection. Um, this brand does decently well for us. Uh, another just blue plaid casual button down shirt. Let me One take a teachable moment. Dollar. Real quick. Do it. This is a button down. Button down collar. Because the collar actually buttons down. If it. It's not a button down, we call it a button front or a button up. Right. But if it has the collar that has a little button on the edge, that's a button down. That's an actual button down collar, yes. There you go. There you Learning. go. Learning. <laughs> uh, let's see. Another one. Oh my god. I know. It's blue and it's striped, but it's from English Laundry. Oh, we sell this all the time. Um, does they, it have embroideries? It does. Mm, it's yeah. got a little embroidery. Well, the logo. You know, on the back of the shirt is embroidered. It has a little embroidery English laundry on the back right there. And it also has, I don't know if it's polyester or silk or what, but it has this accent on the inside of the collar. It feels a little Robert Grammy, if and I do say. And on the inside of the cuffs. Cool. You know, so you can flip them out for accent. One dollar. If you're new here, welcome. Hi. <laughs> we shop separately in the thrift stores. That's why we don't know what, what the other person got. Right. I uh, hit the women's section. We're full-time resellers. Dan hits the men's section. And then we come together at the end, trusting yes. in her purchases. So this is a Banana Republic. Um, I got this for a dollar. I'm not going to lie. I picked this up originally because I was like, hmm. Are I'm, you going to wear this? I might keep this. He's getting flamboyant. I like it. I like purples. Yeah, you look good in purple. Green so eyes and all. I might, I might keep that. It was a dollar. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, we had a receipt. All right. Call. Um, this guy. What is this is guy? Also, I found this guy for a dollar. This is a brand new with tags. What? Uh, Brave man, tan two piece suit. So here. Wow. Right. Like this is not the best brand. This is a. I I'd probably call this a cheap suit, right? But it's, it's a dollar. It was a dollar, but it's it's made in China. It is sixty five poly. Oh, it's this like is an Amazon suit. That's I'm pretty sure. Is. Yeah, I, I don't know for Kufandi. sure if it came. <laughs> it might be Kufandi something. The, you know when you order from Amazon, it comes on the slow boat. That's what this is. <laughs> and they ordered two because it was so cheap. Possibly. I know what this is. Right. Okay. okay. So, but like, I, you can't go wrong buying a new with tags suit, pretty much of any brand for a dollar because, True. like I said, this is a quote unquote cheap suit, but it'll sell probably for, I mean, 30, 40 bucks, maybe. You guys, ha here's story time. Story time. We are on Nextdoor, our app, and a couple of times people have asked for suits for going to funerals. It's yeah. really grim or, you know, maybe not funerals, job interviews. And we give out suits a lot for free. This would be a prime candidate. Someone yes. would look great in this, and it would be no sweat off our backs, and it's full, and it's, you know, a, a mm. stock size. Yes. It hasn't been hemmed or anything like that, so they could get it to fit them. Yep. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe. Check out your next door if you're a reseller, because there are people in need, and we like to give back Right. There. Not only could you find potential sourcing yeah, we do that too. <laughs> opportunities on next door, but, you know, it... It never hurts to give back to somebody in need if yeah. you're able to. Especially if you have suits. Right. We give out suits a lot. Well, okay. maybe three times. Two. Check three this times. guy out. Oh yeah, this is our experiment from last year. Long coats, overcoats, trench coats. Yes. With the zip, with the lining. With the lining. We did this last year. We bought dollar trench coats, and yes. they all sell, sold. They all sold. It didn't even matter the brand. Right. I mean, they sold not for a whole lot of money, but again, when you're picking it up for a dollar and you're able to flip it for twenty or more. Anytime you're able to increase your uh, profit, profit, return on investment, return, that's the word I was looking for. Thank got you. you. Got you. By 15 to 20 times, like that's unheard of. So pick these up if they're a dollar, they will sell. If they have the zippered. Yeah, lining. they got to be complete. Like you got to check if there's a zipper with no lining, that means somebody's taken the lining out and or lost it or whatever and don't buy those. And if it doesn't have the belt. Right. This one complete with the belt and the lining and everything. This is a ladies trench coat. It is a size 14 regular from Presswick and more. No idea. But like I said, we got it for a dollar. And it's classic. It never go out of style. And somebody will buy that yep. for sure. Uh, let's see. What else do we get? This. Oh, more new with tags. Girl, this... I would have never bought this last year, but I got it this year. Charter Club. This is an expensive brand. This is like a 
I don't want to say it. it's a mature. There you go. Brand. <laughs> and it was originally uh, $69 this on is a clearance. Knit cardigan, right? Yeah. With some gold buttons. Someone loves this brand on eBay and they're they going to buy this. And it's a petite. It's a large petite. You know how I feel about petites. Right. I love selling petites. So what what about the person who's sitting at home right now going, wait a minute, how does a large petite, petite work? I don't understand. Petite is proportion. Ah. So you can be a, a size large, uh -huh. but in a shorter stature. Ah. So if you're under 5'4", you're probably a petite size, which means that your sweat sweatshirts and sweaters need to be shorter or else they like are tunic link like on me. Uh -huh. So I love a good petite. And most of the time you have to go online to order them anyway. So why not buy them from me? For less money. New tags. New tags. All right. Moving on. We got a blue Nat Nast polo shirt. Oh, I got this while you were in line. You did. A doll, this was a line find. Um, this brand is, it's like an American classic bland, brand. Sorry. <laughs> it's very nice and soft. It's real soft. Um, again, this is not something that we would pick up if it was more than a dollar. But people but like this brand. They do like this brand. It does sell pretty well. Um, we did sell a Nat Nast shirt for 200 bucks. Yeah, this was way back. It was the find. It was the Chet shirt from, uh, go find our video on that. We'll link it above <laughs> yes. right here. We'll put it in a, a card over here. Best purchase ever. Always go through the men's and look for that Chet shirt. Yes. Look for it. So good. Shirts that have been on TV shows. Yes. We'll sell this basic one. Probably, probably well. not so much. <laughs> um, all right. Speaking of basic stuff, this is kind of basic stuff, right? It's cute though. It is cute. It's Tommy Hilfiger, not a brand we would normally pick up, but again, it's a dollar. It's a cute style. It's a, what is this, a it's peasant a, top? It's a peasant, good job. It's a peasant <laughs> top, it's got some embroidery. This is very on trend right now, so in the summertime, I expect this to go. It looks it looks like chambray. It is does. It? There we go. All these and terms. And it looks new, so I'm glad to have this in our closet, and we can sell it in a bundle, which is, all of this stuff, you guys, is bundling gold. Yes. Because then when you get somebody that likes two things, and one of them was a dollar, you offer it for free, <laughs> and then they are like, oh, I'm getting a great deal. I'm great like, deal. Yes, you Speaking are. of great deals, check this guy out. What is this guy? This is another overcoat. Okay. This is, uh, I believe, an 80s vintage overcoat from Paul Levy. Who did? I have no idea. We don't know. Made in USA, though. That's but good. it's a wool and cashmere blend. So... For a dollar? For a dollar. Like, a... Yo, this coat a, was... Anything with cashmere and it's expensive. A coat this size, wool and cashmere... I mean, you're talking hundreds of dollars. Oh, you've got easily. a pet hair right here. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, it's like it is an amazing shape. There aren't any holes or stains or anything that I saw. So like I said, for a dollar, a wool and cashmere coat, I'm going to pick it up every single time. We can't let it go to the landfill. And another thing on dollar day, we're always like, I can't leave it. <laughs> I can't. If it's made with like things where an animal had to die for it, I can't leave it. Yeah. I got to move it on. Move it on. All right. What else do we have here? I don't know. This is. Oh, I think I bought this. Yeah, this is a line, line grab. Lou and Gray form. Okay. Was this like workout gear? Workout gear. It's nice. Workout. I like selling Lou and Gray because it has a following, but not for much, maybe 15 bucks. But again, we got it for a dollar. And it has a roll, rose gold zipper. It does. It's Isn't that pretty. Cool? I just grabbed it. It's a dollar. It was a dollar. You I guys, we got all these huge trash bags. We had like four <laughs> or six trash bags, and they were like, this 65 is. 65 bucks. Yeah. Thank you. We're like, I can't even believe it. All right, we got another dollar trench coat. Sure did. Another dollar trench coat. This is from London Fog. These which, ones do okay. Yeah, this is probably the most ubiquitous Good trench coat word. brand that you'll find. Yep, we love selling the London Fogs. This will go. Yeah, see, this is the the important part is that it has the lining. Um, and the belt. And the belt. I'm going to say it every time. It was in the pocket. Yeah, I was really worried. You got it. Like we were checking. Boom, there it is. Boom! In the pocket. So we have everything for this guy. It was a dollar. We'll. We'll turn around a decent profit on that guy. Yes, we will. And then somebody has a nice warm coat. Right. Couldn't leave it. Couldn't leave it. All right. That was from store number one. Great. Or day number one. I don't remember how we organized these. Yeah. Moving on. More dollar stuff. So this was pink day, I guess. This was pink tag day. Yes. These have not been processed, by the way. We haven't uh, steamed them, but we will. Right. So this is from, Wrinkly. this is Torrid, a size two, like a purple plaid flannel, modal, something. It's very nice and soft. I'm always on the hunt for plus size, so yep. anytime I can find cute plus size for Adala, I get it. Get it. 
You know, I normally find... Th oh, here's a oh, tip. Oh. You guys ready? Ready. I normally find Torrid when I'm looking for clothes for myself because I wear little tiny baby clothes. <laughs> and so I wear zero, between zero and two. <clears throat> <clears throat> between zero and two. And uh, this is a Torrid size two. So they put it in my section, but uh, the people looking in my section, oh, that's too big for me. It's perfect for me as a reseller. Look in the small sizes for Torrid. They don't know. They don't know? They don't know. All right, we got another new tags. Yes. You, this is Coldwater Creek. Yeah, I wouldn't buy this normally. Right, but eBay. it was it was one dollar new with tags, and it apparently retails for seventy dollars for a shirt. I'm How am I gonna what? say no wrinkle? It wrinkly. This is non non iron, right? Yeah, no iron. Yo, this is wrinkly as yeah. f. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't steam that already? I do not believe your claims. No right. iron, iron. What do we got her? We got a Tommy Bahama one hundred percent linen shirt. This is when we buy our Tommy Bahamas. Right. On Dollar Day. Yes. And we have tons of them. Yes, they we sell. do. They will sell because somebody's dad needs this shirt for the beach. They do. And I don't <laughs> want to steam this shirt. Oh, it's going to suck. I hate <laughs> linen. Steamy. I love selling it. Right. But I mean, it's linen, so it's never going to be not a little wrinkly. I know. Right? right? I wish I could put that caption in my photos. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's linen. It's always going to be a little wrinkly. <laughs> All right. What else did I find? Remember I that time you tried to iron the wrinkle shirt? I did, a yeah. A Frank and Eileen. <laughs> we got a Frank and Eileen shirt, and I didn't... It was it was super wrinkly, right? Like, super wrinkly. And I'm... She was out of town, and I'm trying to be help out, and I'm steaming, and I'm, I get the iron, and I'm like, I, this wrinkles will not come. I'm like, like, and then I look up the shirt online... After I try to wrinkle, <laughs> iron out the wrinkles, and it's called the signature crinkle shirt. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it was true advertising. It was crinkly. It was really crinkly. And Even I, I you tried, I, I, I was like... <laughs> Spraying <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway, check Next. this guy. Ooh, double-breasted. Double-breasted. Can Hugo I see Boss. Yeah, please do. Yeah, see, that's when the buttons cross over like this. Yeah. We love double-breasted. Double it's coming with, back. With the peak... Peak lapel right there. When it points up, that's called a peak lapel. This is a big guy jacket. It is. I want to say it's like a, like a forty-eight. Or, this was one dollar. This was one dollar, Bob. Yeah, because people don't know. This people had don't been know. fifty percent off. So what was it? Five ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. It had been fifty percent off for two weeks. So yeah. somebody could have gotten it for three dollars. And for they didn't. Two weeks, they didn't. We get it for a dollar. We will sell this for at least fifty. At least fifty. Sixty dollars. Yeah. At least. At least. Because this double-breasted is very, very popular right now. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, another Tommy Bahama linen black this time. I wonder if it's the same size. We could lot them. Uh, you know what? I think it is. I think this I one's love a large. Lotting yep, this it's a large as well. So somebody could potentially score a nice two linen shirt bundle. Yep. I'm going to do that. All right. Why did that feel like there was a security tag? Oh, you there? guys, they left security <laughs> tags on two of our things. All right. This is a Michael Kors. Regular. Regu not Michael Michael Kors, which is the gold. This is the brown, just Michael Kors label. Expensive. You can't see, but there, it's underneath the box tag. Anyway, this is... Ho! Oh. Ho! Just a standard brown, not brown, blue. Blue plaid, casual, button front shirt. No button down collar. No buttons on the collar. So. Yeah, it feels nice. It does. This will go. Good. Okay. All right. What's this guy? I bought this. This is a nice dress. This is BCBG, I think. Hey. Uh, yes, I, I believe see. it is. This is like a bridesmaid's wedding BCBG wear to a wedding. Max Azria. You know, this is just beautiful, and the lines on it are really nice. It's a bright, beautiful color. Hopefully, yeah. we'll return to events, and someone will buy this. Oh, man. You remember events? I don't remember them. <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> all right. A couple more things to talk about on Dollar Day. Oh, these were the all. I can't leave them. Yeah, like, we... The leather jackets, guys. Like, undamaged, full 100% leather jackets. For this, a dollar. It's going to be an experiment. We did this with trench coats last year. Now we're doing it with the leather jackets. Right. So I don't know if style matters. We're going to find out. Because this got, thing is a little bit ugly. A little bit. But it's from Wilson's. <clears throat> Everybody knows Wilson's. Every mall in America has a Wilson's leather Are in there it. malls still? Uh, uh, last time I checked, You're I believe dating yourself. there might still be <laughs> malls. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, it's ha uh, it's got this, what do you call this? A texture on the shoulder sure. and the back. Pebbled. I believe the word pebbled is pebbled leather. On the lapel and shoulder. 
The rest of it is all nice and smooth. Um, there is a belt. I'm there's obsessed. A, with there's the belt. a belt. Um, it's... It, it was marked 40 bucks. And nobody wanted it. Even at 20 bucks. So we got it for one dollar. Yeah, so hopefully that means... I mean, there's got to be someone that wants there's this, gotta right? There's got to be some room on... It's a leather jacket. Like This I'm, is this is our experiment. We'll let you know. <laughs> Keep watching our What's Sold Sunday videos. We put them out Monday nights, and you'll see if this or any of these three sell. All right, here's another le leather <clears throat> jacket. Hmm? Brown leather jacket from... Oh, we're taking it way back. Kathy Ireland. You guys remember Kathy Ireland? I sure do. <laughs> this is a I didn't know she had clothes. She had a clothing leather. line. Yeah, it's a little crunchy feeling. But like, no, I think it's I think it's supposed to be. It's yeah, made. it like the leather itself is soft. Yeah. But like the maybe the lining. Ah, uh, uh, okay. That's what gives it that feeling. It's nice though. It's it's it kind is. of a classic style, right? It's not too dated. Would you? I mean, this is almost like a bomber, but not really, right? It doesn't. Girl, I it doesn't know. have the puffy, you know. The animal died. We bought it. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's real leather. And then we got one more. This is an old school. Check in the from pockets. Germany. German, yeah. Leather jacket. It's from a brand called Striva with a Striva. W. Yeah, I've never heard of it, but again, it was one dollar. It's genuine leather. It's brown. It's maybe vintage. It's it is cool definitely looking. vintage. And the vintage leather blazers right now are on trend. Yeah. So I'm hoping this will do kind of well. It's. Are we sure this isn't a ladies' jacket? Is this no, a ladies' jacket? I have no idea. This is definitely a ladies' jacket. <laughs> because look, it's got this pin tucks here. Okay. In this rounded corner on the sleeve. Oh, and the buttons are on the, the left. Buttons are on the left, and mm. it has princess seams. This is definitely. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found someone's Kleenex. Oh. oh no! Terrible. Gross. Hey, could be money though. Sometimes it's money. <laughs> oh, there was another one. Okay. Woo! Um, that's it. That's is all. Is this a cigar pocket? It's some kind of pen pocket or oh, something. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. That was the dollar day haul. Not bad, right? I don't think so. I mean, we, to be honest, we had a couple more things, but we forgot to do a video. So there's, I think we got about 60 things. Yeah. And total. Right. The We we listed a couple things quickly and they sold real fast. Real fast. So check so. out our What's Old Sunday video that's coming out this Monday and we'll let you know which of those, there was like three or four that At sold least. overnight. Yep. Yep. So just because, here's the thing, just because it's a dollar doesn't mean it's worthless, but sometimes if something's not selling, it's not selling for a reason. So knowing the difference is part of your skill set as a reseller. Yep. Knowing when people just didn't know to pick it up for a dollar or when it was overlooked and knowing when it's not worth a dollar. Right, right. There are those things that aren't even worth listing because listing is time. And That's so we right. wanted to make that really clear at the end of this video. Which is why we are not going to the Plato's Closet 70% or 90% 90%. off sale. Because if it's been there at Plato's long enough to be marked down to 90 percent it didn't sell there chances are it's not going to sell for us we made the mistake really early in reselling the first year that we did this we went to uptown cheapskate we went to plato's we went to crossroads all of their sales and then we realized we still have that stuff in our closet <laughs> so we really do yeah. just because it's a dollar doesn't mean it's worth it we went i mean at the thrift store, I probably overlooked 90% of the things that were a yep. dollar. I only took the stuff that I knew we had a track record with selling or that I have heard other resellers say that they can sell. And that's where the value comes into watching what sold videos. I really believe in them and knowing, okay, well, that's selling for this person. Not necessarily will it sell for me, but it has sold. Right. And we don't have time in dollar days to look up all the comps in the store. It's no. just it's just not going to happen. Because we got multiple stores to hit. We got to go. And oftentimes we bring things home with flaws and we re-donate it or we try to fix it. And it's only a dollar that we're out and we put it on a loss. We have a spreadsheet and it's okay. So it's a really low risk way to kind of experiment with different things in your closet. And we encourage you to do it, but to do it responsibly. Is that the word I mean? Sure. I don't know. Just have some force. I say. Just be selective. Yes. Be selective. See? <laughs> Good. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks. We'll see you guys next time. Give us a like and a subscribe oh, yeah. would be even better. We're at 222. Hey! Moving up in the world. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.